Alright people, I actually had a different video in mind for today. I was actually working on a break-in video of the 438 of my friend. He recently broke his Force 28, so we broke in the 38. I didn't even think that Force would make a 38, but apparently they have a 38 and it's it's really big. But I actually got a surprise goodie in today, which is a backplate for my Grabner Nitro Ball. You guys have heard me complain about this. Full start sticking out of the bottom for quite a while now. And actually a fan of mine from Denmark, he sent me this backplate for free. So today I'm gonna install it and I'm, I'm really happy with this obviously because now I can actually use this engine. So first of all, I am finally gonna remove this pull start. You're probably wondering by now, Mike, why do you hate pull starts? Uh, well, let me show you. You see that? That's oil. It's not actually sealed. And that's the number one cause of a slipping pull start is actually the one-way bearing, the shaft that goes into the one-way bearing, uh, getting um, filled with oil, and then it no longer grabs. It's not really, it's not even airtight, so your engine will, will not be as easy to tune as with a backplate right away. And I mean, just look at this thing, man. It's just, it's heavy. It's also heavy and it's prone to failure. Same for all the crap that's on this right there. Look, you got this thing that's also quite heavy. Get rid of that. All right, so what do we have next? We got the screws out. <laughs> Ignore this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to these screws, but they did not want to cooperate. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to install this backplate. This looks awfully similar to my LRP. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as my LRP32 backplate. Basically, with a backplate, it's as easy as Pulling the piston in top that center and then just slide it in like that. That's it. And just like that, you now have a back plate. Anyways, guys, that's it basically. That's and you save so much weight because you got this huge clunk of metal with this heavy thing all dragging on the crank and it's all rubbing power. And now it's basically fully sealed like this. And it should fit right, it should drop right away. It should just be a straight drop in into any truggy or buggy because it no longer has. See that? It, yeah, now I can finally mount it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one.